So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create the train body, it's the first kind of main piece of the mini train project. We got my on shape opened up, create, document, I'm just going to label it train body. For right now I'm going to leave my planes all active. Typically I would go on the left side here and turn my eyes off, but I'm gonna leave them all active. Click on sketch, click on front. I like to do my drawings from a straight on view, so I'm gonna click on front. All right, looking at my image, right, I'm gonna start with this part here. This kind of tunnel is a radius 0.75. Right, so that would give me a one and a half inch diameter, right? Radius is only half that diameter. So I click center, click my center point, and I need a 1.5. Right? Below that, below that I have a rectangle. The height of this rectangle is 0.88. The width is two inches. So on here, I'm gonna use my rectangle tool. Create a rectangle just below it. My width is two inches, my height is 0.88. You're gonna see that it's still blue, it's not aligned yet. If I go back to my image, looks like the bottom of my this rectangle here with the center of my circle is 1.38. So click my dimension, my bottom to my center, 1.38. Right, but it's still not aligned left to right. So because I have a two inch, I'm just gonna grab my left side here to my center and then just center it at one inch. All right, so now all my lines are black, I'm ready to extrude. Finish sketch. Go to my isometric view. I'm going to extrude my object. Um, on shape doesn't matter that these lines are here. We just need to be sure that we click on all of my shapes. All right. Going back to my blueprint, the entire object is 5.5. So it says depth, 5.5. Hit my green check. All right, so I'm starting to kind of see the resemblance of the blueprint here. I'm now going to move to this back side to get this cab area. Uh, I start out by noticing that we have a center point that is one inch from the right hand side and 0.375 from the bottom. So I'm going to rotate this around to the back. Um, start a new sketch on that back side. I can add a center point. I want that center point to be, I'm gonna copy off my original right down here, right? And then I'll come back and I'll add dimensions, dimensioning that right in the center. And from my bottom to the center, let me just verify my dimension. Uh, looks like from the, the bottom to the center, is 0.375. Right? Now I'm going to use that point on two separate occasions, but this first point I'm going to create a circle. The size of that circle is 2.35 radius. So I click my circle from that point. Right now it's in diameter, so I'm gonna quickly just figure out what that is at 2.35 is a 4.7 as a diameter, so 4.7. Right, I'm gonna use my line tool, because if I look at my image, this is going straight up, right? I don't need all this extra, 
So I'm going to take my line tool and draw a point from here straight up to my circle on both sides. So my line tool from here straight up and then from here from here straight up. Use my trim and trim out this excess. All right? Get my finished sketch. Again, I like to do it from the isometric view. I'm going to extrude this piece. We want it to come towards my object, so I'm going to switch my direction. And I want my cab to be 1.75. My green check. All right. Next up, I'm going to look at the window of the train. Right, this window, it starts out with a radius 0.5 on the back side. It's a new sketch on this side. I'm going to put a circle somewhere in here. Right, it's a radius 0.5, which means that it is a diameter. Again, a radius is half that distance, so diameter would be one inch. Go back to my blueprint. Uh, the distance from the bottom of my train to the center of that circle is 1.75. So I click my dimension, bottom to center, 1.75. Right? Now from the back side of the train to the center of that circle, back side of the train, center of the circle is 0.25. So back to back, 0.25. One thing I do want to point out before I simply extrude this is that this detail or this feature has a, it doesn't have that rounded edge, it goes straight back. You can kind of see it down here, it goes straight back. So I'm just going to click on line from this top quadrant, straight back. Line from the bottom quadrant, straight back. Use my trim and trim out this remaining portion. Finish sketch. Again from the isometric view. Extrude. There's my shape. I want it to go through all. Switch it. And switch it to remove. All right, you can see what it's doing there, removing it. Again, notice this flat portion here. All right, I'll go now and work on the hole location for the wheels. All right, so here's my hole location. It is a quarter inch through. Um, I have two of them. The size of that circle is 0.25. That's what the quarter inch means, 0.25. All right, so I'm gonna do a new, new sketch on the side. Circle, I'll just place one up here, 0.25. And I'll place one back here, 0.25. At this point, it doesn't matter because I need to come back and enter the dimensions. From the back side of the train to the center of this circle is one inch. Dimension, back side to center, one inch. It looks like from the back side of the entire train to the center of that front circle is 4.5. Back to the center. So now it's dimension left to right, right? Now I needed to place a dimension from the bottom to the center. The bottom to the center is 0.5. The bottom, to the center. Bottom to center. Let me try that again. Bottom to center. Now, now you'll notice my lines are black, which means they're fully constrained, fully dimensioned. I can hit my finish sketch. Isometric view. I'm going to extrude both of these holes. I'm gonna remove them. And where it says blind, I'll just say through all. All right. 
going to the back side, if I look at my image, I've got a hole in the back that is 0.25 and it goes down half an inch. All right, so I'm going to do a new sketch on the back side, place in a circle, right here, 0.25. Mention it just to verify that we are still at that 0.375 and one inch from my left side, still good. Get my finished sketch. I'm going to rotate it just slightly. There we go. Hit my extrude. There's the circle. But I don't want to add material, I want to remove material, and it says 0.5 inch. So I'll switch my depth to 0.5 and tell it to remove. Get my green check and you should be left with a hole. Perfect. All right, we've got a couple more steps. We've got to add these three holes on the front. All right, if I look at my drawing, I've got three holes here. Looks like the size of each one of these is uh, diameter 0.125 and then it has a depth or it removes material 0.125 so I'll add a new sketch to the front I'm just gonna go ahead and add three circles that are 0.125 notice that I added this one right in the middle that'll just help when I'm dimensioning It's important to place these in the right spot because in the future there's a piece that will snap into these three holes. Uh, looking at my blueprint here, from the bottom of my object to the center of that top circle is 0.625. So dimension, bottom to center. Um, I shouldn't have to dimension left to right because I aligned it with this top circle. But if you didn't and yours is still blue, you can simply place a dimension from my right hand side to the center. And just verify that that is one inch. Uh, these bottom circles then, it looks like it is 0.125 from the bottom for both of them. So I'm gonna go bottom, click dimension, bottom to center, 0.125, bottom to center, 0.125, all right, so now I just need to align them left to right, uh, looks like 0.375 from my left side to my center, click dimension, left side to my center, And from the right side to my center. There we go, all my lines are black. Again, if I look at my blueprint, the size, that's what this means here, the diameter is 0.125, and then it has a depth of 0.125, which means I need to extrude. All right, I'm gonna hit finish sketch. Go to my isometric view, zoom in a little bit here. Click on extrude, click both of my all three of my circles, click to remove, and type in 0.125. All right, so we're almost done. Uh, the last step is new, right? If I look at my blueprint, I have a circle on the top. We've talked in the past that I cannot simply add a new sketch on the top. Right, what I need to do is add a new plane first. All right, so I'm gonna exit out of that sketch command. I'm gonna add a new plane. Plane by point. And I should be able to get, right, plane by point. If I hover over this, I should be able to get that top point. That's where I need it. Then it's gonna ask you where you want to anchor it off of. And I'll just grab this side and hit my check. You'll see what it did there. It created a plane right across the top. I'm 
going to redo that for you. All right, so I click plain. Where it says offset, I'm going to switch that to say plain point. If I hover towards my front here, I get that dot right at the top. It wants me to identify an edge point. I'll grab this edge or this edge, doesn't matter. Once I hit my green check, it gives me that plane right on the top. I can add a new sketch to that plane. And now look at creating this circle here. The size of that circle is 0.5 and it's 0.88 from the front. So circle. Notice it wants to line it up, which is perfect. The size again was 0.5 diameter. And it was 0.88 from the front to the center. finish sketch go to my isometric view All right so now I need to cut this out I've got my blueprint it says a depth of 0.25 remove 0.25 All right so that's nearly complete All right I've got the holes in the front holes to the side, the hole on the top, I've got my window, I've got the hole in the back. Um, the last step down the bottom here it says round all edges except for the drilled holes, round them to 0.1. Right? Rounding is called filleting. So I click fill it, I switch it to 0.1 and so now I can just go through and select all of my edges. Again, it says except for drilled holes. What that means is that they don't want any of these holes, right? There's gonna be a part that will eventually go in there. And so we are going to avoid clicking on those port, those holes. Doing this is more so for aesthetics, uh, just for the looks of it. it. Just takes that edge off. Looks like I got them all. Go on my left side here and just turn these planes off. I don't need them anymore once my part is created. And there it is.